My name is Katherine Glass and I am an energy healer and a psychic medium and I co-own the Healing Essence Center in Concord, Massachusetts with my husband Jonathan Glass. I have two beautiful boys and um, love my work. <laughs>person would come to me for an energy healing um, for a, a broad range of issues for example anxiety depression um, nervousness a sore ankle that won't heal whatever and what I would do is I would actually lay them on a table a bodywork table and uh, work energetically with them as a conduit of healing energy uh, or frequencies that would hopefully align and redirect the energies in their system so that they feel more whole, complete, and um, uplifted, and a sense of well-being. It's about healing and self-awareness, personal growth. Um, that's sort of the thematic content of the work that I do. But specifically, it's about energy healing and psychic intuitive reading and mediumship. The difference between a psychic reading, a psychic intuitive reading, and a mediumistic reading is that in a psychic intuitive reading, I would sit with you and it's all about you. I would answer questions you may have concerning your life, spiritual matters, material matters, financial, relationship, any of that stuff. Um, if you had a job offer uh, pending and maybe you had two different opportunities and you wanted me to look at them and tell you which one you know, I, you should take, I would not tell you that. I will never tell you what to do. I won't read your fortune, but I will look at the energies around those two options and tell you which really lights up and why at that, at that time of the reading. We are beings of free will. We always have free will. And when you leave a psychic reading, you hopefully will feel uplifted, have more clarity about what you came to the reader for, and feel a real sense of well-being and um, more wholeness in yourself. A mediumistic reading is specifically to contact loved ones from the other side. Often people will come who are in bereavement and missing a loved one, or they'll come because they're sensing um, a presence around them and they want to understand what that is or they just want to have a communication with a grandma or a mom or a, a, a lost child and that's what a mediumistic reading is specifically about so that's the difference between the two okay. a psychic reading will help a person to feel more connected to themselves and more, more, give them more clarity about what they're wanting or wanting to know or do, say in the next phase of their life, or how to deal with or have more clarity about issues they're carrying from their past. Really, my experience is often when I give a reading, people will tell me, I knew that. And I say, yeah, you did. But it gives them validation. It's so wonderful for us to be reflected back to. It really helps us feel like we belong, everything's okay, I'm on track, and I have everything I need within me to move forward. Experiencing the work, either with myself or with another person, a reader, or their own, you know, they sit up in bed one night and their dead loved one might be standing at the end of their bed to let them know I'm saying goodbye. I've you know, had people tell me that. It's, it's not as common, but it happens. When there's a strong love connection between two people um, and one leaves, leaves um, for good um, to the higher side of life, they will oftentimes come either in what feels like a dream or I've had clients tell me they were awakened and there was their mother or father standing at the end of their bed and that's how they knew they had passed. Um, and sometimes it's very scary and frightening for, for a person if you're not expecting it, you know, or what to do with that. That's, that's when they'll call me, you know. They want to know if it's real. They want to know if they can really talk to their loved one who's passed. Now I'm getting into mediumship. Um, 
So there's a saying that goes on in our, um, in our circle of psychics and mediums. All mediums are psychic, but not all psychics are mediums. Meaning that a psychic ability is the ability to hear, see, feel, know things um, about another person or about an event. And a medium is someone who can hear, see, feel, and know things and make a link to an actual spirit from the higher side of life, the other side, who's moved on. So in my experience as a healer, psychic and medium, when I'm dealing with someone who's skeptical or, or, or was, had some doubts about this work, they often come to me as a uh, last resort often, you know, like I've tried everything else, I'm, I'm, it's not working, I've tried, you know, antidepressants or um, some form of medical intervention or something, it's not helping me, I still feel distressed for whatever reason, A, B, C, D. Um, depending on what modality I use with them, if we do hypnotherapy, and they have a past life regression and they have an experience that they actually feel viscerally in their body mind after the session they walk out and go wow that was amazing mm -hmm. I really was there that's an example mm -hmm. or if I give them a reading and I'm telling them things that there's no way I could have known right they didn't talk to me ahead of time they didn't friend didn't call me and say they have two two children and a dog and and the mother died in you know August of 82 if I give them those kinds of details evidential information um, it's quite startling for someone who would normally think that this stuff couldn't be really true it's always from their own personal experience of feeling hearing and feeling different after working with me my percentage of accuracy rate <laughs> I'm usually about 90 to 98% accurate in my readings, so I'm told. <laughs> Energy healing, there's a broad range of modalities that come under the umbrella of energy healing. Um, energy healing basically works under the, I want to I want to say assumption, but it really works under the fact <laughs> or the knowledge that we are made of energy. Human beings are made of energy. Mm -hmm. We have a physical body, and around this physical body is um, energy, and it's an energy body. And that energy body holds um, all kinds of information. It holds incidents from your earlier life, it holds memories, it holds um, flow of energy and it can also get blocked and stagnant when there's trauma, pain, um, super joy, exciting events can affect your energy field so this energy body is called the energy field and energy healing works with your energy field so it's almost as if you went to a doctor to work on your physical body you'd go to an energy healer to work on your energy body and your energy body directly affects your physical body so in energy healer terms, or energy terms, you talk about chakras, which um, is an ancient yogic uh, definition of energy centers that are in this energy body that we all have. There are seven basic chakras, and energy, they're energy vortexes, and when they're functioning well, they're spinning and moving and flowing and everything feels great, um, and oftentimes uh, they're not all flowing and spinning at the same time in a balanced way. So when they're out of balance or not spinning correctly or in a flowing way, you might feel sluggish, tired, sometimes maybe depressed.